All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the V Scaver Art Mod, which is being made by user V Ronnie Ka. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an impressive number of new decorative items for your settlements. And I actually really love this mod, even though I don't tend to spend too much time on settlements. I love the idea of this because Rather than being pre-war decorative items, this mod looks to add in art made with wasteland scrap. And I really love that idea, and to me it adds in this whole new level of fun, whimsy, and color that, you know, just didn't exist in the settlements before. And that's just good. Now, as to how we do mess around with these new parts, it's pretty simple. You just need to head into the build mode in any settlement and head over to the decorations category, where we have a new subcategory called V's Scaver Art. And in there, we then have four new subcategories, one for metal art, one for paper and cloth, one for sculptures, and finally, one for wood. Now, what I have done over here is set up every single piece, which, um, unfortunately, as you can see from the wall, I had to extend slightly beyond the platform there, but oh well, it does work. And you can see all the beautiful beautiful new things that you can play around with. So let's start over here in the metal category first and foremost, which all of them are on this lovely concrete wall here. And the first thing that we have is the butterfly wall art, which you can see right there on the wall. Now it just takes one steel and will provide happiness. As you can see with all of these pieces of art here, every single one of them will make your settlers just a little bit more happy, which is a good thing. Now the next one we have is a can chime, and we actually have two of these. One, as you can see right here, that is used, uh, or using bottle caps, and the other, which is using keys. Now either way you go, it would be one steel and one cloth, and both can either oddly hang from walls like these, or of course, you know, do them properly and put them on a ceiling somewhere, but they are nice parts. Now the next thing we have are these corrugated steel paintings, and we have two of these. Both will cost you three steel, and as you can see, we have either the nice little river scene there, or what I assume is some sort of a nice sunset. Either way you go, pretty cool. I do like how they are on the corrugated metal. It's, you know, it feels like art that would be made out here in the wasteland. Now the next thing we have is another wall bug, a dragonfly right there, which will use one steel. We then have an interesting porthole cover, as you can see right there, with some lovely seagulls painted onto it. We then have a tin can wreath if you're in the holiday spirit, which I love. That's just nice right there. And then another tin can wreath, though this one meant to sort of hang from a ceiling, but very, very nice. I do love the flowers on there. It is quite cool. We then have three separate wall plates, all of which using one steel. I don't know why a plate's made of steel rather than ceramic, but hey, it's post-apocalypse. Anything's possible. And it just comes in three different designs, as you can see right there. All of which, again, very fun. Now, I'll be honest, the plates I really don't care for quite as much. Uh, my favorite on these, on the metal ones, are definitely these corrugated uh, metal paintings here. They are quite cool. Now, next is the paper and cloth category, which we have on this concrete wall. And the first two are dream catchers, which you can see both of them right there. We have just a standard dream catcher using steel and cloth, and then a dyed one that's a little bit more colorful. Colorful, both though quite cool and using a steering wheel. The next thing we have is some notes, which <laughs> you can actually see right there. And uh, one of them, I think, is one we all feel about Preston. But hey, you know, it's wonderful. 
<laughs> there we go. But yes, just some nice little notes to slap onto a wall. The next is pin sketches, which as you can see is a very, very large piece. And that is all of it right there going all the way around. Uh, we then have just another bit of pin sketches, but much smaller with only four items, as you can see right there. And you know, just fun little sketches of trees, leaves, etc. Just a nice, nice little bit of art. And that is all for the paper and cloth category. One of the, uh, well actually it is the lowest number of parts compared to the other four. Now next we have sculptures, which of course means going backing up a little bit to here. And the first one we have is a bottle arch, which is just Glorious! I love this thing. And it is made of glass and steel. Very cool. The next one we have is the bottle tree, again using glass and steel, you know, to uh, make a little, little cool little tree. We then have the bug theme again here with a butterfly made of steel and then also a dragonfly made of steel there. We then move on to a planting pot man who I just realized I put backwards on here. But yes, there we go. We have this planted pot man who is holding holding a flower of some form, and then a second one here who does not have a flower, both of which are pretty nice, though I do like the use of, well, you know, pots. It's very cool. We then have a shovel lawn art bit made of wood, which does, uh, ooh, I forgot to mention what these ones are made of. So yes, ceramic on the pot men. Did not mention that. But yes, a nice little bit of shovel lawn art made, of course, out of shovels. And then we have uh, more on the insect theme, though I guess arachnids this time. Two different size spiders made of steel. One being the large one and another being the small one right there. And then we get a nice Valve Flowers, which is pretty cool. I actually really like this one. Very colorful, very nice use of the different valves. And then finally in this category, the Valve Flowers in Stump. Also quite cool. I think these two, these two and the Bottle Arch are my favorites out of this category. They are pretty pretty sweet and then finally we go to wood which as you can see takes up three concrete walls because oh god there's a lot to go through here so the first one we do have are two pieces of wood art which you can't actually seem to put onto walls these seem to go on the ground and they are these two right here we've got one of a tree and then one of a castle and uh, both of which of course using wood. But I mean, it's the wood category. So of course, we then have three different cutting boards, which I guess this one probably would be a bit more pre-war compared to some of the others on here. But um, yeah, three cutting boards, one with a rooster, one with a cow, one with a pig. There you are. We then have a plywood painting of Horus, apparently. A nice little, nice little manor there. Very cool. And then a second one, which, oh God, I had to put down here to get everything to fit, of, you know, cutlery. And who doesn't love cutlery? Cutlery, again, made of wood. The next one we have is a plywood painting of a tree. Very good there. And then this sort of um, uh, modernist wall painting on plywood. I don't really know how to describe that one. It's circles, lots of circles. And then finally this one of uh, leaves, which kind of also looks like a cool nature -y fire. I like it. Even though it's blue, it's warming to me. I love it. And then we have these two cow plank things. Well, one is a cow plank, the other is a flower plank, both of which can be seen down here. We then have another of uh, a number of window boards, which are pretty cool. You can, you know, use these to add a little bit more color to your defenses, which I find hilarious to put these over windows. But yes, we have one that's, you know, nice and flowery. We then have one that's nice fall colors. We then have one that's a lot taller than the others with lots of little suns. One that's with some orange hearts, you know, if you really care about your windows. And finally, this one with more flowers. And that is the end of the V's Scaver Art, a lovely selection of cool bits of art made with wasteland scrap. I just, I love the idea of it. I love that everything's kind of, you know, made onto these dirty bits of wood or dirty bits of metal. Again, 
love the corrugated metal paintings, really do. And just overall, it's a great little addition, I think, to any settlement. It adds in a nice little bit of whimsy, as I mentioned earlier, and a good little bit of color. And of course, who doesn't love the fun note to Preston? <sighs> God, I hate Preston so much. Uh, but yes, that is the V's Scaver Art Mod. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, which I would definitely suggest that you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we will be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always... Have a good one!